What's up everybody and today we are going to talk about Wayne Williams. If you're unfamiliar with Wayne Williams, he is uh, best known for being attached to the Atlanta child murders which ran from 1979 to 1981 in Atlanta, Georgia. He is currently, it's a, it's a very interesting case and I'll talk more about my opinions of it at the end. but. Uh, Wayne Williams right now is convicted and serving life in prison for the 1981 killing of two men in Atlanta uh, and police believe he is responsible for at least 23 of the 30 murders that took place mostly involving children from 1979 to 1981. However, he was never tried for the other murders. Again, most of them were children and the case was closed. But in 2019, the case was reopened. Now, the reason why he was never tried for any of those child murders is that they could never prove it. They could never gather enough evidence to try him for those murders. But he is wildly, or at least was at the time, wildly suspected as committing all of those murders. Now, this brings us, like I said, to 2019 when the case was reopened. The Atlanta Police Department announced in uh, 2019 that they were gonna reopen the case and do some DNA testing. And now this next part is according to reporternewspapers.net and I will link it in the description below so you can go have a read of the entire story for yourself. Now this story was posted January 21st, 2021, so a couple of months ago, and this is the latest I could find on this case, the most recent I could find on this case. Because of new DNA testing of evidence, they reopened the case. And as of January 2021, it says the testing will begin within 60 days, according to the Atlanta Police Department. It goes on to state, in the nearly two years since then, some of the large amount of evidence has been reviewed and is about to be submitted for testing, according to a APD spokesperson. The cases are being actively investigated and this work requires meticulous and time-consuming effort to sort through the evidence that is decades old. The investigation team advises that evidence for DNA testing has not yet been submitted to the crime lab, but they planned to begin hand carrying it for DNA analysis within the next 60 days. But the public should not expect results anytime soon. Of course, that, that does take some time. Originally, when I watched my first set of documentaries on Wayne Williams, I thought, without a shadow of a doubt, that he was guilty, that he committed these crimes, lock him up and throw away the key. It, I thought that for sure he did it. But after watching many other documentaries, many other interviews, uh, including interviews with Wayne Williams himself, I've, uh, it's, I, I've kind of been cast some doubt whether he's actually guilty or innocent. It's definitely not straightforward like some other cases. Over the years, more evidence has come through. Um, more people have spoken up. And it's definitely, he may not have done it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going by what the documentaries I've watched said and the interviews with the experts that I have watched said. And I definitely... I'm not convinced 100% anymore that he did these crimes. Um, they were never able to tie any evidence to him up front for the child murders. So that right there is telling in itself. That doesn't mean he didn't do it. But how do you commit that many murders? 
and leave zero, zero evidence behind that uh, attaches yourself to those scenes. I mean, it's, it's possible, but not likely, right? Especially in 1979. One of the big, big rumors is that the Atlanta officials covered it up and blamed Wayne Williams because of it was actually crimes that the KKK was doing and they did not want to start a race war. That theory, there's a lot of information out there about that theory and it is definitely plausible. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this case, there are a whole bunch of documentaries out there. And the second season of the Netflix show Mindhunter focuses on the Wayne Williams case as well. So if you haven't seen that, go give it a watch. But then go watch other documentaries. Don't just watch Mindhunter and make your mind up. Uh, do your research if you're interested in this case and watch all of the information out there. Because I think it will definitely change your mind or at least cast some doubt as to whether he did it or not. Like I said, I know definitely for me, there's definitely doubt in my mind. There's even parents out there of the victims, of the children themselves, that do not believe Wayne Williams was the one that committed these crimes. So, it's definitely an intriguing story. Hopefully we get some news about that DNA testing. I mean, the 60 day time frame has elapsed, but that doesn't mean that they have finished the testing yet. So hopefully sometime soon we'll get some information on what they found with that DNA testing, whether it links to Wayne Williams or not. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see the results. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon.